Sharon came to be familiar to Israelis and the world during his military career. A member of the Israeli military since its foundings in 1948, Sharon later created and commanded its first special forces unit and participated in some of the Middle East's most known battles between Israel and its Arab neighbors. By many, he is seen as the officer responsible for turning the tide in favor of Israel after the country suffered a massive blow by a surprise attack in 1973 by the Egyptian army. Years later, he made the transition into Israeli politics. He chose the hawkish Likud party as a home. As defense minister in 1982, during the first Israeli war against Lebanon, his image was forever tarnished in the Arab world for his role in the war. Public opinion amongst Israelis was also split. While he had his fans and staunch supporters, there were plenty of people who felt a deep aversion for Sharon's politics. He was also a champion of the Israeli settlements in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Israel is against having a Palestinian state because of the dangers. In 1999, after years of unsuccessfully trying to lead the Likud party, he was elected leader. Months later, in what became a landmark event, Sharon made a contested visit to the Temple Mount, home of the El Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. Thousands of policemen escorted him in a visit that many believe sparked the Second Palestinian Uprising or Intifada and began years of bloody violence between Israelis and Palestinians in which thousands of civilians lost their lives. Yet another controversial decision, Sharon's government ignored international opinion and court rulings about the barrier's illegality. Sharon, who is known by the Israeli public as the bulldozer, insisted on building the wall. In late 2003, Sharon makes a sharp turn in his policies. After being re-elected for a second term as prime minister, he announces his plan to withdraw Israeli troops from the Gaza Strip in the summer of 2005. Israel. In a future settlement, Israel will not remain in the same places as we are today. The repositionings of settlements will be done first and foremost in order to construct an efficient border that will create the disengagement between Israelis and Palestinians. Thousands of Israeli settlers living amongst over one million Palestinians in the Gaza Strip were to be evacuated. The move received international support and condemnation from Sharon's traditional supporters, the right wing and the settlers, who immediately launched a campaign against the plan. But Sharon, ever the bulldozer, continued despite the opposition, and in 2005, Israel withdrew from the Gaza Strip. During this period of political upheaval, Sharon's term was marred by accusations of corruption and immoral political behavior. Behavior. But in late 2005, Sharon's health betrayed him. Suffering a minor stroke, Sharon was released from hospital and scheduled to return for an angiogram a few days later. But a blood clot that reached his brain caused him to fall into a coma from which he never came out of and put an end to a controversial career. This is CNC World, a new perspective.